So supposedly, and I haven't seen this yet, Chris Stanley, you found a picture of yourself as a youngster. Yes, I have. See, I thought I threw them all out because when my parents passed away, they were like hoarders. So I emptied the house out and I thought I'd thrown everything out. But going through an old drawer, I found pictures. I, first of all, you have a one bedroom apartment, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How could there be a drawer that you haven't opened in the last 10 years? <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, it's impossible. I can see if someone had a farmhouse and a barn, there was something they didn't know. But a one-bedroom New York City apartment? There's a dresser with eight drawers, and there was one drawer I thought I cleared out. But I think I got, like, seven. I'm like, oh, you know I got what you, seven now. You know what you probably did? You probably saw it years ago and thought, oh, there's some stuff of value, and said, I'll come back and do it. And you yeah. got that. Because you were drunk. Did you open that drawer because you were looking for a drawer for your lady friend, Ooh, for her to have a drawer? Special lady. <laughs> it is my special. She is my special lady. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to spruce the apartment up so it doesn't look like such a shithole. I hope you don't mean special needs lady. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's that's not bad. Right. She has all her mental faculties. So do special needs people. Oh, no, I didn't realize. Um, do, 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 do. Here I am at six years old. <laughs> I put oh, it up here where I can see it as large as possible. Holy shit. Where do we tweet that off? Bennington? Bennington show. Dude, you are the same person. <laughs> Six years old. That was 1989. It's blocking it there. Oh. You're fucking adorable. Chris, you're, you're wearing blue blockers. Uh, I know. And you're wearing a trucker <laughs> hat. <laughs> And you get the thumb up. You're doing the same. Stuff. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He he is doing the same pose. He does that pose every picture. Oh, jeez. I didn't pick up on that. Wait, that actually, I think, might be identical to Trump Gug. <laughs> like, that same pose, the glasses, and the fucking hat. This is weird, Chris. And why does a boy need a shirt that relaxing? <laughs> Oh my god, you're, you're just a tiny version of yourself. It's weird, man. Yeah, isn't everyone a tiny version yeah, of themselves? Yeah, but look at his face, like look at his expression. <laughs> he is so fucking cute. <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. What's your hat say, do you even know? I don't even know, no. You don't remember it? Looks like there's a- Trump um, cock, I guess. Yeah, it's Trump cock. <laughs> Make a story a great again. Why do you got your thumb up like you're Fonzie? Why? <laughs> Why does that happen? I don't know. I, you know, from an early age, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew it was okay. I don't know. I look very sad. I don't know why that's going on. <laughs> well, the, you were living in a reality. Wait, why do you wear the same? I mean, it's one thing to look the same, but why are you wearing the same sunglasses? I got, I'm, a, I'm well to my brand. Adorable. This is so weird. What a cute little thug. <laughs> Yeah, you do look sad, too. <laughs> Did you sell these to your special lady? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Oh, wow. my God. You guys even want to hear Liz Sets Fire's tweet? Yes, I, I do. It can't be beat. I hope it's not being fat shamed. Um, who's got two thumbs up and will eventually be attracted to kids this age? <laughs> That's fucked this up. This kid. That's fucked up. It's not true. All right, Andy Stone just wrote, once a dirt bag, always a dirt bag. <laughs> Come on! It's just a baby. Not Sam Softhand says, Chris looks like a cartel member. <laughs> well, that was the age. That was the time that it was happening. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's you doing the uh, truffle shuffle. Oh, come on! Uh, <laughs> what are you putting up extra pictures? <laughs> no. no! That's the truffle shuffle. That's from Goonies. They're they fucking, just took his head and put it on the chat. I honestly thought that was him. How did they Photoshop it that quick? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not my... Junk from Goonies. That's, that's no difference. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> uh, New Jersey Ed says, looks like mini Chris Christie. Come on. Mike, look at this one trick pony. His hat or look never changes. <laughs> Love it says the hat and glasses are the exact same proof that you will never change. <laughs> that part is true. Zero growth from six years old to now. Just none. I can't believe you've been posing the same way in pictures your whole life. I don't even remember this picture being taken. I don't remember this day. 
It looks like you were next to somebody with a football helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you should still wear shirts like that, though. I think? Kind of a good look. Yeah, neon's a bit much. Mm-mm. It looks like he'd be saying, I know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> I wonder if this was Halloween and you were dressed in his future self. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling believe. you right now, you ought to send that to your Costa Rican lady friend and let her know this is the future. <laughs> this is what you want, isn't it? You want one of these? More of this. More, more of this. <laughs> more of this. <laughs> more of this. That's fucking insane. Yeah, it's nothing weird. changed. I mean, I wouldn't wear shorts that short again, but, you know. You should. What? No. You got the kneecaps for it. Literally, those are the same knees that give out now. <laughs> <laughs> just people batch into that picture right now I, I don't I mean I guess that's bad kind of flattering you're a fucking wild man dude Cara B says the sweet years or I guess that was the sweat years <laughs> I, there wasn't any sweat on me then yeah that's the amazing thing back when why you were still you, dry why are you still wearing the same sunglasses <laughs> because they're they're good sunglasses. But did you know that you've been wearing these glasses since child? I don't remember this. I barely remember my childhood. There's very little I can fucking recall. So you have no memory of being this dude at all? No. I think because well, I'm the same dude. Holly wants to know if that you were at a Jimmy Buffett concert. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened to Chris at that age that he's stuck in this pattern? <laughs> Yeah, usually that means some sort of trauma when you, like, you just have all the same attributes. Trauma is the other. (laughs) I can dish it out. Yeah, he was the, he was the first child ever to molest his own uncle. (laughs) No, no! (laughs) He is a child molester. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I don't trust kids today. Boom, boom. What the, look at the head on him too. He's got a kind of like yeah, I got the, like the head to hand ratio. I have a giant head. <laughs> the doctor it's pretty big. told my mother I had a giant head. I believe it was a tough birth as well. <laughs> of course it was. I had to shatter a pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Read some of these. Charles Snarkley says, "Is Chris trying to hitchhike home from his dad's heroin den?" Jesus. Joseph wants to know. What brand did he smoke back then? <laughs> Camel know. Lights. Muggs wants to know why we did a Chambers Brothers radio edit. Uh, Chris made a call there. You thought 11 minutes might be a little too long. Yeah, yeah. So went with five minutes. We lost six minutes of time. Uh, this one just says uh, Roseanne Arnold was a cute kid. <laughs> what the fuck? It's mean. <laughs> Jack says already at age nine, only a trucker hat can fit his gigantic head. <laughs> he couldn't even snap it in the back. He just left it flapping open. This one just says the young Wilford Brimley Chronicles. <laughs> you know Bennington what? on Twitter. Bennington on Twitter, right? What's the, what at are Bennington we? Show? Yeah, I can't do. It. I can't remember all that. Uh, w- girls are going crazy though. Adrian says, "OMG, I love him. This is amazing. It really is a mini adult Chris." <laughs> It is. Jim, what's up, buddy? Hey, uh, everything in that photo looks proportional, but look at his jowls. I've never seen a six-year-old with jowls. That's cheeky. It's a cheeky young man. <laughs> That's mean. Thanks, Have a good Jim. one. 844 Rock God, 844 Rock God. Alabama man says, was he on Baby Molly? <laughs> we should still have that shirt. Why, even today, do you put your thumb up? Because I always yell at you every fucking picture. Just to be positive, you know? It's just like a good thing. You're not positive. Yeah, yeah, it's not truthful representation of you. I was definitely not positive in this picture. I look fucking miserable. (laughs) He's just faking his way through it. Thumbs up, guys. Life is good. I bet he was at the the fucking zoo and found out he wasn't getting cotton candy like the other kids. Matt says this is the pick of a future serial killer. I don't want to kill anyone. Murder at an hourly motel. Um, Doug and Salt Lake, what, no smokes? That's probably why he's sad. Mr. Buddy Sir says heading out to the track to bet the ponies. <laughs> 
Kara says Pukadu Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Gogo said there should be a DeLorean in this pick. Is Chris a time traveler? <laughs> Man, that's fucking funny as shit. I couldn't believe it when I found it. <laughs> Aaron in Wisconsin. So is Chris Stanley like the physical embodiment of The Shining? You've always been here, sir. <laughs> it really is that, dude. It's like if you just zoom in on the picture and that's the little dude standing there. <laughs> He's always been here. <laughs> Um, Bobby says thumbs up if you want to be a child molester when you grow up. Why is this associated with me? <laughs> Hank Hargman says pre-mercury poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could just tell him now. Just Lo stay away from the donut. Lose Yourself said easily could have starred in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Your dad had this watch up his ass. <laughs> Not Sam says who wants a Crave case. <laughs> That dude and me. Is that the real not Sam? Not sure. Sam was out last night. Everybody was there but you, Chris. And you know what everybody said about that? What's that? Nada. Most people <laughs> in the yeah, business no don't asked. know you. There's so many times I'll say those comics, get a hold of Chris, and they'll go, who? Ouch. I go, he's booked you three times. Hmm. Remember him. Charlie said, look, everyone, it's baby Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> I am pants says Chris looks like the kid that would hold a stranger's hand because they look like a good mom or dad for them. <laughs> Saddest ever. You're being mean, Ron. I'm sharing here. I found this. I bring it in. I scan it. Ron James says Stanley was in the third grade uh, Judah Freelander lookalike contest. <laughs> it's the champ. <laughs> Champ is here. Kingston Pete says thumbs up for the photo or hitching a ride with the ice cream truck. Uh, Marcus Silva says this is Gail's next Halloween costume. <laughs> like halfway there. <laughs> DJ says one trick pony, more like one trick brony. William says Jimmy Jimmy breakfast buffet. <laughs> Like you know, I. It's just, <laughs> it's just me. It's just a little boy here in this picture. That's all. You don't got to be mean to him. Oh my uh, god, the cheeks are so funny, dude. It's so cute. All right, this is what you're gonna love. Okay. Uh, Jonathan says right before the Joe that right before Josie met Ged Rock. <laughs> Tell him your name. <laughs> uh, he was out at the zoo and he was told he couldn't hop in the gorilla pool. That's from Brock. Love that video. Chrissy, good gorilla. Dan Hart says some insidious morphing of the Benjamin Button syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley just says this. Hey, now, you're an all-star. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Type says, you get all this and more in your pedophile training kit. What the fuck? <laughs> Stan the man. <laughs> Says he looks like an Asian kid. <laughs> There's no nowhere. Yeah. There is some Asian there. There's no way. Is yes. It, is it, does he mean the style? Yeah. Or the physicality? Chris, I have a friend that's one third Asian. <laughs> what do you think, Jen? Does he look like an Asian kid? No, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. You don't make it. Uh, educate it. You were Andy Moon. What's his name? Milkankas? Milanakis. I forgot that kid. He's Westchester, he just... Bestchester. Yes. This one just says the suck and fuck kid. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a terrible nickname for a child. Really not good. Really not bad. good. <laughs> oh, the suck and fuck kid? Yeah. He's coming around. Yeah. Please don't call a child that <laughs> <laughs> It's so sick. <laughs> uh, here's one just says sad Halloween. Hashtag drug dealers kid. <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Baby Girl shows up. <laughs> <laughs> The face you make when you're left outside the casino at six. It would have been around that time. All right, this one just says, from Dead Baby Eyes, that picture of the tiny Stanley, LOL, someone else Photoshop a dildo in that small hand. No! <laughs> Why would a child need a dildo? Ed Rooney said, inspiration for the blockbuster motion picture, Kid Killer. <laughs> Uh, 
Adam Nelson says the wonder what went wrong years. Well, that's fucking good. <laughs> me. Whoa, what you doing? <laughs> Out of tune. Piper says obese since 85. I, is this a fat child? No. <laughs> Sammy Red said you guys need to recreate that photo. Take any fucking photo of this now. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> All it's right. not even necessary. Gail, you like this one. Boss, deplane, deplane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like obese since 85. I think that one's mean. It was 89, and that little boy was felt. It's just a little fat in the face. Come on. Salsa says new Tinder profile pic. <laughs> oh, God. Costa Rica 9. Mm, I don't know what that means. How can you look like a kid and a 50-year-old man? <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to have a new pick a day. Gail, you've seen a bunch of these, right? Yes. I, and I haven't seen any, so every day we'll unveil a new pick <laughs> for yep. the next couple of weeks. Spans my younger years, these pictures. <laughs> There's some weird shit in there. I mean, this is bizarre. This you is definitely look like a kid without a friend, though. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a lot of friends as a child, no. Spend a lot of time with the old parents in Astoria. That's why you dress like that. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that pout. Like, I really can't get over it. I really can't That's get so over sad. it. so <laughs> sad. I mean, it looks like I should have been having a good time. Here's one. It just says, <laughs> hey, kid, what direction is your blood sugar going? <laughs> Heart Fuck. says passed over by even Father Flanagan. <laughs> David Russell says the original Tony Clifton. <laughs> Ryan says, unfortunately, this is the healthiest Chris ever looked. <laughs> All right, I like this one. Uh, this is Chris posing for his profile pic for the dating app Tindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he was locked in a basement with a gay mag for six years. I saw the sun. Happy to be released from detention for smoking. As for Matt. He definitely looks like a kid who was smoking at six. Bill in Texas. Johnny B, yeah. there is something about that picture and it just clicked. It's the kid from Courtship of Eddie's father. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy cuddly toy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Chris could have made it in motion pictures. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon Dockerty said, ah, oh, sweetie, this way to the Golden Corral. <laughs> Karen says, make America great again. Hey, where's the bottle of water, says Wayno. <laughs> yeah, you're not chugging water. I look dry. Corey Feldman before he met Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, this one just says, posing with all his parents and friends. Ouch. <laughs> Fucking mean, man. Everyone was alive at this point. It says, what kid has jowls like that? Well, I, I don't see it's, the jowls looking it's just bad. It's chubby cheeks. Thank you, Gail. It's chubby you. cheeks and, and a chubby chin. I don't tell you something cute. else about him. He's clean <laughs> and he's washed up. I mean, he's unhappy. Oh, very. But certainly that parking lot <laughs> looks like you were on some kind of a trip. Yeah. Now, I love also the socks and footwear as well. Those need some attention. You've got the those socks kids, pulled all the way up. Those kids are as wide as they are fucking long, man. <laughs> those are little cubes you got at the bottom of your ankles. <laughs> Very white feet, I was told by a doctor also growing up. Melly Hatchet says the head is the same size as it is now. <laughs> yes, I have a giant head. The look of a child uh, who is comfortable knowing that there are active restraining orders against them. <laughs> Looks like the kid they talked to after a tornado hit his trailer. <laughs> Streeb simply says, Joe Dirtbag. Slady says, Chris, use your fingers to show us how many chromosomes are missing. A zero. The kid they ditched to Dan and stand by me. <laughs> Come on. I think that just means that his uh, old man is up in Tokus. <laughs> loony, loony, loony. <laughs> He's crazier than a shit house rat. <laughs> Pez. Cherry flavored Pez. 
That kid is adorable. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen, but also so weird that you're the same person. Do you think you were at a ball game? Do you think you were at the zoo? I don't know, because there was two other kids here, to my left and right, I believe. I don't. Do you think this is a class trip? You know, I think, yeah, I think it, <clears throat> it was a class trip. Where'd you go, Coney Island? <laughs> Where'd you go, Longwood Gardens? <laughs> I'm not sure. I know, the only trip I remember, I remember two trips. One, going to Botanical Gardens. Two, Isn't that the worst trip for kids? It's shit. They used to do that to us. They took us to Longwood Gardens, and there was nothing to do but run and race each other. There's nothing there. <laughs> There's fucking flowers there. <laughs> and that was an adult. Like, nothing's nice to them. Like, oh, look at all these flowers. I don't kid, know. Like, I still feel the same way. I still don't like Botanical Gardens. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> like, take the kids to a movie theater. <laughs> It's got. It's a much more fun experience for everyone. Uh, Kyle says this. What? That's what I love about elementary school chicks, <laughs> man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This photo was taken on Take Your Child to Rehab Day. Ouch. Come on, man. Why do you look like you're going to a racetrack in Miami? <laughs> Found the trucker hat on eBay. It may be the same hat. We got a picture of that? That's interesting. Um, Liz is back with world's first Adderall salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Two different shoelace colors. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh wait, that. yeah, there is, yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> call. How about the pictures of courtship of Eddie's father? <laughs> We don't care about no, that. What was that, a hip-hop like... thing back then? <laughs> Who were you He's doing, in a gang. <laughs> Who was... I'm surprised he wasn't wearing his jeans backwards. <laughs> Who were those little fucking kids? Crisscross. Crisscross. <laughs> Make you jump, jump. Um, all right. It's a ninja turtles hat that says, kick some hell. Were you a ninja turtles fan? Oh, yeah. Love ninja turtles. All right. Let's see. All right. Bennington Show retweeted it. Here's the hat. Refresh it. Um, oh shit, that is the hat. Oh, dude, that's a really cool hat. What Someone buy it. Allowed, from- to, allowed to have a fucking hat that says "Kick Some Hell." <laughs> dude, that's cool. Someone get that for me for my Halloween costume. Um, Franco says his parents still didn't want to pose with Chris. <laughs> Come on. I was posing with some, I guess, friends of mine. Right, I don't like this from Ninja. Hilly Joel, not slim. All right. <laughs> Dixon says Ferris Bueller's Dago. <laughs> Ned says, Italian. how is it possible to look like a child and a child molester at the same time? <laughs> Wait, that joke is off of, um, that joke was just done on Roast Battle. <laughs> was it? <laughs> who, do, who was it said about? Because it was very, very funny. I can't remember. I'm going to think about it. Um, look, it's Chris with a clean shirt. <laughs> this is my parents did laundry. Danny DeVito will play Mini Stanley in the big screen adaptation. I don't get all the fat comments. Sure. Now in 2017, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little overweight. Sure. I'm a medium. But as a fucking kid, it's a fucking, it's a skinny little boy. Sure, I have a fat face. But don't children have child fat? Isn't that a Do thing? Do yourself a favor and don't fight it. I yeah. have to. I have yeah. to for my younger but self. I mean, don't think... listen to the haters, Chris. All right? He's just going to hate you. Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to call me fat as a child. Uh, 844 Rock God, 844 Rock God. Peter Buffalo. Yeah, I wanted to say it looks like Chris fucked a copy of Turner and Hooch and <laughs> fucked a copy of uh, Weekend of Bernie. This is a fucking terrible comment. I'm just a little boy in a fucking uh, Hawaiian shirt. Look at those tiny shorts. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I can't take it. <laughs> I mean, my mom could got like knee length. I mean, this is just, it seems they're uncomfortably short. So style at the time. That's what all the kids are wearing, Christopher. <laughs> Put on your tiny shorts. Do you got your kick some hell sh- uh, hat? Uh, the kids are gonna love that. You don't know how you sound like her so much. <laughs> all right, Scott, write this. I just farted. Fuck those other guys. <laughs> Cross between Chip and Dale baskets. <laughs> how- <laughs> how many dead cats could fit in that backpack? <laughs> A less successful version of Sam Rothstein. <laughs> Class trip, more like day parole. You, you could tell at six he would be making up fake girlfriends. No, he's got a real one. It's a real one. It's a real one. It. She's a real Greg person. said, His special lady friend is it. 
<laughs> Greg said, you might not think much of me now, but I'm drinking alcohol and one day I'm going to be old and out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the kid killer poster? Big Sarge school trip to Fire Island. Thumbs up for discovering glory holes. <laughs> oh, God. Tommy Jonigan said, who has two thumbs and a future drinking problem? <laughs> this kid. Oh, come on, Tommy. You enjoy a drink every now and then. <laughs> Jonathan, Christopher. Christopher, can you make it to the sperm bank without <laughs> swallowing? Oh, God. Nasty. Corey <laughs> says... Digs. Fear and loathing in botanical gardens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just remember who the joke was that looks like a child and a child molester. That was said about Todd Barry <laughs> <laughs> during the roast battle, and I believe he replied with, Fair enough. <laughs> My favorite reply to any roast in history. Um, Snowy, what's up? Hey, Ron. Yeah. I can't help thinking of a scene from Rocky. Take him to the zoo, Rock. Take him to the zoo. That's him. <sighs> There's one from ATX. Don't be sad. Someone will eventually pick you for their dodgeball team, okay? Aww. That one made me sad. Never go against the family. <laughs> Randy, off to another Roy Orbison look like that. <laughs> 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 Billy says he's been washed. The Stanleys must be on their way to the child services. CPS? He was one still in good spirits despite being diagnosed with emphysema. <laughs> Who enjoyed his first trip to show world? This guy. <laughs> oh, God, Chris. Started quite the fucking brouhaha today. <laughs> I mean, I think they're being meaner than they should be, Ron. Yeah, who saw this coming when you brought your big? I, I, I did. I thought this was like a happy little boy. <laughs> I'm happy for you. His son Jerry just bought him a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> JPW says, "Blow you for six. <laughs> the downward spiral, day one. <laughs> Young Randy Quaid. <laughs> I'll never eat another entire loaf of soda bread ever again. <laughs> Future Trump cuck. What heartless prick took this picture but didn't call child services? It's probably my mom. Why would she call her herself? <laughs> he looks like he joined the witness pro, uh, protection program as a child. <laughs> ABC mug just right. That's right. I got a pounding erection. <laughs> Slady, this is a good one. Forrest, how does it feel to have those braces off? <laughs> Here's a Photoshop of what his hat actually says. It's a Star Kids tuna logo. <laughs> this kid loves tuna. He never changes. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Only the best tuna make it to Star Kids. Let me find out what that hat was. It's amazing. Yeah. I want that hat. It's cool. Kick some hell? Is that what it says? Kick some hell. <laughs> Seems fucking a little harsh for a kid to be wearing that. <laughs> My parents were laissez-faire. But, but you love the turtles, huh? As, oh, yeah. I remember, yeah. I, the like, cartoon or the live action? The cartoon, the first live action movie. The first. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Secret of the U's, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> really let down. Yeah. Like yeah. I was this like, stinks. <laughs> You haven't changed much with that either. <laughs> You're like the very first of anything. And then it starts. Oh, kick some shell. Kick oh, some shell. Okay, oh. cool. It was blocking me up. Alright, so. The moral tongue and cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Not a word play. That's our Chris Stanley. He loves the word play. God, yes. All right, Mar Marcus Silva just put this oh, up. Oh, God. <laughs> it's little Chris Stanley. <laughs> that is the funniest picture ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby says, one day I'm going to grow up to be slightly more successful than I am now. Oh, fuck. Hitchhiking to Dork City? You're already there, kid. Why is this kid a dork? Why? And no one can explain it. They're just throwing that shit out Cooper there. Cooper says this, you might not be able to tell from my beach shirt, but I will never learn how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Rich That's says, so sad. too bad this isn't on the side of a milk carton. <laughs> That's fucked up. 
<laughs> RC said, who's got two thumbs and no dad? <laughs> I had a dad at that point. <laughs> He might have not been there, like, mentally, but he was around physically. All right. Steve O says, the kid from uh, Almost Famous in the Car. Eleven! Eleven! Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, Major Gravy Leg says, hashtown scope bros. Do that Almost Famous kid again. Eleven! <laughs> fucking dead on. <laughs> God damn, that's fucking funny as shit. Well, Chris, congratulations to you. Thank you. Oh, God. All right, this one just says, dude, where's my dad? (laughs) Fucking mean. (laughs) Sure, he was home? By home, do you mean heaven? (laughs) At this point. (laughs) He's returned home home is what you're saying. (laughs) Oh. In 89, he was fucking alive and well. Well, not well, he was alive. (laughs) That's considered well in the Stanley Pack. (laughs) Chris, the fiddle, be quiet. You know daddy's got the nods. Why is dad so sleepy? Hmm. That's That's right. right. No, now look at little Chrissy and think about that. Daddy's getting his his nappy shots. (laughs) (laughs) Every time he fucking shoots up, gets in the easy chair, and then you just hear, Nats and white satin, never reaching the end. That was his dad's only favorite band. Really? A bunch of Moody Blues fucking albums. Was, and they awesome album covers. I would like, just look at them. Because they were fucking awesome. But I was like, what? why Why the Moody Blues? Breathe deep. <laughs> Out of all the fucking bands. I, I just don't know. Moody Blues. I don't, it makes no fucking sense. It's insane. He never talked about music, but he liked the Moody Blues. <laughs> <laughs> fucking strange dude. Well, this one just says, hey, hey, I'm looking for a ride to the nearest McDonald's. Was this pre or post futon days? Pre. Get this kid a ukulele and teach him to sing under the rainbow. <laughs> I'm not fat in this picture. God so, damn it. <laughs> where under the rainbow. <laughs> this is what happens when your parents buy your school clothes at a yard sale. I'm sure they bought it from Pennies or a and Now that we know the hat, Chris, is was wearing in this pic. I like turtles. Seems like an appropriate caption. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> Orphaned or did they just leave from embarrassment? <laughs> Seriously? Who would be embarrassed of this little guy? Oh, He's so sad. He seems Aww. great. Oh, please. I can't think of it. I can't. <laughs> Get his little shirt and his little shorts. I can't. Somewhere no. out there. Don't sing that. There's a dad waiting for me. No, please. Loving me tonight. <laughs> no, little crazy. <laughs> You're the heart of a champion. The heart of a champion. Little quizzy. <laughs> You're going to make it, little quizzy. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm going to make it on my own. Aww. <laughs> Fucking three-legged dog. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the amount of people uh, comparing you to Chunk. I mean, there's just there's so too much many. Chunk stuff. There's so much Chunk <clears throat> too stuff. Much chunk First, stuff. Chunk was older. <laughs> Se- right, it's just the shirt. I have straight hair, and I am not that overweight. Don't fight it, Chris. <laughs> No, I just don't know to come after no, you. I have to fight that. Look, Seems like the thing you're most sensitive about is your truffle shuffle. <laughs> there was no truffle shuffle. God damn it. <laughs> fucking neon shirt's fucking me over. <laughs> That's the worst part of this video. <laughs> Fido, what would you caption this with? I'm just going to ask you, sight unseen, whether you've... Now, you've heard our listeners, and they've been hilarious today. What would Vito call this? How does somebody with no brothers or sisters look like they're wearing hand me downs? <laughs> that's, 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 really up. Solid. that's a pretty good rose. That's a fucking new shirt, as far as I can tell. <laughs> from this picture. Seriously. Hey Vito, by the way, did you have that line because it got yelled at you when you were a kid? 
<laughs> How could somebody be retired at age six? <laughs> god damn, that's funny shit. Oh my god. All right, let's break this right now, guys. Uh, Chris uh, Stanley, his pick is up there, and it's loud and proud today. It's at Bennington Show on Twitter. It's uh, totally fine. Chris, let's fix this TV screen so I can look. We're about to look at the new Chris Stanley picture today. Um, And I'm excited to do it, Chris. I'm excited to see it. Uh, It's If you're a Twitterer, uh, then you can go to the Bennington Twitter, but when it's, it's up on our Instagram as well. Yes, we will put it up on Instagram as well. Now, the thing with this oh is... Oh, my God. It's so exciting for us because Chris thought that he lost all of his childhood pictures. Yeah. So now this is us understanding the young man that was Chris Stanley. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. So this is Chris at the movies, right? Yes. yes. And you were saying, Lady, Lady in the, the Tramp. Tram. Why are you so unhappy? I don't know. I don't did, know why. Did your parents the... take you just to see the poster? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I assumed. I go, did they force him to take a picture with this with this poster and he's not going to get? What How old did... do you think you were here? Chris? I was four years old. It's 1987. I now, that was on the back of the po- photo. You could have won a contest called... A uh, little Mr. Barrel Chest. <laughs> you can't throw a football from one shoulder to the other. <laughs> and this fucking what? coat is awesome. I know. <laughs> Chris, you need, I mean, you kept the style of the blue blockers. Yeah. Why didn't you keep this style? I, I didn't mean, know. This is a great look. Now, if you remember the other one, he was in full pout. This one, he's in full pout. This kid never <laughs> fucking smiles. This is now, so depressing. Now, you know how we talked about Chris, the time traveler, right? Yeah. So you look, this, so, and four years old is what, 1987? 87. Uh, 87. First of all, pictures from 87 don't break up from that. You know what I mean? <laughs> this movie probably came out in the 50s. That jacket was hit in the 50s, right? Yeah, yeah. You were in the 50s, Chris. It's... This fucking movie was released in the 50s. Oh, my God. <laughs> Discovering a lot about myself. Like, what it does fuck? look like it does look like a shot from, like, a Christmas story or something. Yes. Like, it doesn't exactly. look like. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That jacket would have went with a Christmas story. Like Ralphie's jacket. <laughs> he could be wearing, um. Like a raccoon hat for like a, what was it? Davy Crockett was yeah. big with the kids in the late fifties. That could have been you. But you've seen pictures from the eighties. They don't crack this way. That's the way an old, old film cracks. Chris, how old are you? I I think I'm in my thirties. All right. I love Bob, about the cry. Let me just say this on Twitter. Bobby Perman uh, tweeted us this. I'm going to murder these dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob Ross fan said, oh, you poor little sweet boy. This broke my heart a little bit. Only time or ever will be close to a velvet rope. Ouch. <laughs> looks like a future serial killer. <laughs> I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like a little boy that I that I would want to make happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit. I would find out what makes this sad boy happy what do and you, fix him. What do you think his interests are? Whiskey, Marlboro <laughs> Reds, <laughs> probably really cut bad Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dour face. Lumberjack. Tommy Jonigan has already written in. He looks like an ice road trucker. <laughs> what the fuck? Larry and Yonkers. Is? Spanky goes to the movies. Oh, David said Peppy didn't get popcorn. Aww. Roger Zimmerman said, I thought this movie was rated X. Uh, then Hart says Jimmy Johnson Jr. Ouch. These pictures are up, and they're the saddest pictures known to man. Good night, Chrissy Angel. A, a piece of meat. This quality. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some of these. Mini John Candy, great outdoors. 
Lady and the Tramp is not a porno. <laughs> These are sad. <laughs> I do remember this day going. We, we saw uh, we saw it in Times Square. Lady and the Tramp. I remember. I don't know why. That's one of the few memories I have. Who wouldn't remember seeing Lady and the Tramp in Times Square? Oh, it should be a wonderful day for any boy. <laughs> in right? '87, Times Square though. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> I'm sure it was 1957, <laughs> 58. Chris, time so <laughs> um, he also threw out all his uh, his birth certificate, everything. You don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any of that information. <laughs> you have no proof. <laughs> let, let you have no driver's license. Well, I have is this fake passport I bought. <laughs> Eamon says, "Show mommy how the little piggies eat." Oh, come on. Aww. Holly, nice bowl cut. No wonder Chris looks so miserable. <laughs> Why the lady in the tramp hate? Uh, who's shit in his mess kit? <laughs> All right, Adam writes, he's a lumberjack and not okay. Um, come play with us, Pepper. What were they out of mock duds at the concession stands? It's more of a sweetheart guy. David says, Uncle Paul didn't change my diaper. Oh. How many Marlboro Bucks did that jacket set standing? Uh, a cross between Mo and Curly. And Kara says, no thumbs up. Oh, boy. When his thumbs aren't up, his That's fists are clenched. He pouts no matter what, but his thumbs are the indicator. He loves to looks like someone's got shit to deal with in their pants. Oh, I don't think I was shitting myself then. Um... Hey, uh, Scott, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing today? Hey. First of all, he he needs a big scarf and an oversized hat, and he's the little kid from the Christmas story. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Uh, I had a question. Um, I know this would make Gail happy if the answer is yes, but no one's asked Chris yet. Were there any pictures of your parents in that drawer? Yes, there were. You're not willing to put yes. them up and held the ridicule. But can we see them? I want to see them, yes, Chris. Yes, you can see them. Yes. How's that? How's that make you feel, Gail? I'm so happy because, like, you remember when I heard that story? I was like tearing up when he was just like telling me he has no photos of his mother. I was so heartbroken. But why would you be heartbroken when he feels nothing? I don't know. I I have to feel it for both of us. Robots don't have feelings. <laughs> he was smuggling uh, Dad's stash into the movies in his cheeks. Is uh, Chris auditioning for the role of the kid in the Shining? Red Rum. We hear that a lot. No smoking in the theater? Fuck this place. <laughs> Mom, why does Dad always have the nods on movie nights? Seriously, you should be lumberjacking in Canada. Why is this kid wearing mom jeans? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Come on. It's 87. <laughs> why you guys shit on my clothing then? Um... <laughs> Fuck, was his childhood that miserable? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. A lot of people t have been talking about the clothing. You were a lot more stylish then. <laughs> I yeah. mean, a lot more. Did he? That's because his mom was dressing him. Yep. Did he just find out he wasn't going to the Marlboro Ranch? <laughs> That's probably the face I'd make if I had to shop in the big and husky section, too. I'm not a fat child. Why? Why? Is Chris's father black, tar heroin leaking into the picture? Oh, God. Trolling at the truck stop. <laughs> A young Al Borland. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the cheeks, though. Oh, my God. So sad. Just a sad little boy. Why is he such a sad child? Oh, what a lonely boy. And, like, here's the thing. I don't know what's worse. Like, you seem to have been a sad child, and now you're an angry man. <laughs> Well, we don't know. Maybe, he, you know, uh, anger is just sadness, uh, you know, faced outward. So it all makes sense. All right. Uh, we've got a new pick of Chris Stanley uh, going up. And by the way, we're giving out uh, another one of those uh, Laugh-Ins uh, box sets uh, in, just a, uh, in just a little bit. The reason? Love. We love you. Because we love you. Other, we love you more than the other shows love you. We love. Wow, this picture, Chris, you and the fam? <laughs> yep, this is me and my parents. And this is the only picture you have of you and your parents now? Yes. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> this also looks like, for some reason, it looks like they got a uh, a camera around 89, because Chris is kind of the same age. <laughs> All right, your 
Oh, God, your parents just look like they've got the weight of the world on them. <laughs> they, <laughs> there are Their eyes are just so beat down, Chris. <laughs> they look really exhausted, and you don't. I must have been a handful back then. Now, you... <laughs> Chris, look at Chris's expression. You know what I think they've they're they're thinking about how are we going to pay off this Polaroid camera (laughs) that we got from Chrissy? (laughs) What's your stupid stuffed animal? I don't know what that is, but I remember having it. I have no idea what that character was, or if it was a character. It almost looks like a SpongeBob. It does look like a SpongeBob, but it's not, and it has a black eye. Oh yeah, it does. Jesus Christ! (laughs) Kind of fucking toy is that? And then Chris, are you throwing up? Is the peace sign or is that West Side? I'm not sure what my face is doing. He's Look at like, Chris's tiny little hand. <laughs> oh my God, your mom looks so sad. She looks exhausted. Well, I wonder why. <laughs> oh my like, God, that is what like the definition of like thousand yard stare. Yes, that's what refugees look like. That's their expression. <laughs> Dude, that kind of looks like a tough guy, though. He liked to fight. He didn't win many fights, but he liked to fight. Oh, he, yeah, it's fighting, he, not winning. No, he, he, that dude threw down. <laughs> God, they're already tweeting at you. What, like, good stuff? Um, I knew Pepper started drinking at an early age. Chrissy's first dope puke. Jesus. Somebody wrote, it should be called Really Big Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. Are they hostages? <laughs> they do. They, they do. look like North Korean hostages. <laughs> they- you're so unplanned, Chris, as a baby. Oh, yeah. Nobody wanted you. Mm-mm. Aw. That's so sad. It's a fucking miracle they kept me. I mean, they did not look prepared to have a child there. No. God. This is like four years in. <laughs> look at your dad's expression. This is crazy, too, because I've only seen that one very young photo of your dad. Yeah, the, the mugshot. And I'd never seen a picture of your mom before. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing his mom, too. What would you say she's in her thirties? There, she is. Well, I think mm, early thirties. Yeah. So she's younger than your dad by. No, he was. They're like a year or two apart in age. Oh, because that picture of your dad, he looked much older. You said your dad ran from Vietnam, and he wouldn't have been in his thirties then. Oh no, I can't remember. Um, I do know he he just bounced and went to Mexico for a little while. Yeah, I mean most. Most guys in the 80s weren't in their 30s if they were in Vietnam. Uh, why is Pepper's dad's hand up Stanley's asshole like a puppet? Okay. Bundle the family in sweaters. We didn't pay the heating bill. <laughs> Jesus. That's a good fucking point, actually. Those are the deadest eyes this size of porno. <laughs> it's a pillow fighter. A pillow fighter? Uh, the joy just jumps off the screen along with the bed bugs. There were no bed bugs in the 80s. <laughs> Who took that? Yes, there was. Not in New York. Who? T- yes, there was. Who took that photo? Child Protective Services. <laughs> I've never seen a family photo look more like a mugshot. Like that does look it does. like two mugshots. Like a family has been arrested for murder, <laughs> and one of them's not taking it seriously. <laughs> we should have named it Damien. I hope that's a cheap hotel because the walls are filthy. No, that was uh, my grandma's apartment. Um, the apartment that you live in now, or yeah, yeah. The look. Um, you look you have when birth control doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> this sets fire, says, well, I don't even have anything witty for this. They just keep getting sadder. This Do is they? a very sad, sad, I'm very sad looking at this. Don't be. And I'm, the innocence of you, uh, like, right now, you don't know. Like, you're a little younger than in the other pictures. Yeah. yeah. So you haven't figured it out. But you eventually get there expression and like look why if they don't want to take the picture don't be in a picture I, yeah that's also like my mother was not happy about this picture being taken. no clearly my father had somewhat of a f a smirk i don't know chris not a full smile <laughs> uh yes he's our son no we're not bragging what the fuck if that's not the look of i should have had an abortion on her face i don't know what is <laughs> Please uh, uh, send SEAL Team 6 for the Heaven's Gate Kool-Aid. <laughs> Medina Moore just wrote White Good Times. I really have my mother's complexion. Here's what it just says. The famous smoked stained walls of Casa del Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> he 
stained. Uh, whoever took this pick must be thinking, motherfuck, this child has no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Greg just said Chris's father just came to the in terms of the fact that his son is retarded. I mean, I do look a little special needs. In this, you uh, do. Picture. You look a little extra. <laughs> or as my friend would say, you look a little touched by God. Oh, yeah. This says for only $2 per month, you can help sponsor this family. Please open your hearts. <laughs> What's that fucking song that they play for the fucking hungry in the duck? Arms of the angel. Yeah, we should just have that playing the entire time. Uh, Ezra says, "Honey, what are we gonna do with this big head kid?" <laughs> oh, Jim uh, Tews wrote this. These are killing me. Every one of them tells way too much of a story. <laughs> That's right, Jim. <laughs> Try to do an hour on this. <laughs> Make your next hour on this. This photo essay I've been putting together all week. <laughs> this says, why is this kid in the middle dressed like Ernie from Sesame Street? <laughs> <laughs> you do look exactly like Ernie. Oh, shit. All right, there's some questions of whether or not your mom is wearing pants. She's wearing pants. Let's take a look. I mean, it looks like she just might have a pair of nylons on. <laughs> Those <laughs> are pants. Like She's not walking around the house with no pants on. They're just. They're just. This says Chris yet killer. again not reading the room. <laughs> <laughs> the only time that you've been happy, your parents are miserable. Chris also looks like the Mister Buddy doll from the eighties. That's true. I remember the Mister Buddy doll. All I had was this pillow fighter. <laughs> Pillow they biter. To, they used the hump. <laughs> Pillow biter, I think it's called. <laughs> Chris, Stephen A's brow wants to know if you were raised in the Ukraine. <laughs> oh, that, it does look like this that. This is Eastern <laughs> European vibes in this fucking picture. This is after the wall came down. <laughs> yeah, mama, nice, huh? <laughs> nice, my wife. <laughs> that nice. Mama was blinking, help me. <laughs> Oh my the God. only known family mug shot in <laughs> NYPD history. And this, according to Liquid Sheen, and this was a happy day. Oh, oh no. That seemed pretty uh, joyful. <laughs> Please save us from this kid. Cliff Huxtable starter <laughs> kit sweater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so sad. I don't know. It is. Help They're getting that. sadder and sadder. This one just says, help us move the sofa in front of the door. The repo man is here again. <laughs> People want to know if you're dropping devil horns. Is that the peace sign? And why is your tongue out? I don't know. This is fucking. I, I feel, feel like, like the whole hand is like. Yeah, like, it's like spread it's like that. You don't think it's a peace hand. sign? So you're, you're kind of doing a. Eh, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get I'm crazy. Like, uh, yeah. And I like not feel it <laughs> at all. All right, your uh, it's called Pillow Paul, and we're retweeting your, I guess, best friend when you were little, Pillow Paul. Oh, Pillow Paul. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's Pillow Pal. Oh, Pillow Pal. A lot better than Pillow Fighter. <laughs> it got sent to me as Pillow Paul. Um, I don't know why I wanted to stuff that one. I was all beat the fuck up. As in said, this is the first pick where I wasn't a fat child actually works. Must have just had a, a growth spurt, huh, Chris? I wasn't fat in any of the other pictures either. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a little fat kid. I'm a fat adult. I was a fucking spelt child. Dan Hart says this. Last time I saw a family that happy, they were on a train in Germany in 1942. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Brad Stink says, is this the apartment that Chris still lives in? Is that true? Yes, it is. Uh, 100 bucks says he hasn't cleaned it since. Of course not. I got a paint job. I'm not paying this ransom. There's no proof of life. That's from Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> mean queen. Uh, Brian says, D uh, dude, Hicks is at least in his 40s with this picture. You know, I've said this about the other pictures. This does not look like the 80s at all. Or now, it's not even looking like the United States of America. <laughs> no, not at all. So what year do you think this is? Uh, this is probably 88, somewhere around then. And when did your parents get their green card? They, they were born here. They are natural born citizens of the United States. So do you know what year your dad was born? You don't know what year he was born. I don't know. I might have a 
certificate somewhere. See, he's acting like his dad ran away from the draft, which was in the 60s. Right. So, so he would have had to have been if in he the was teens. Eight, yeah, if he was 18 and let's say 67, by the time this picture was taken, he'd have been well into his 40s. But Chris doesn't know. I think I think his mom looks young, though. Yeah, she does look young. She was born in 53, I think. Yeah. Mm. Um, even SpongeBob has a uh, black guy. His dad's a fucking maniac. <laughs> the moment you're told you're... Ch- ch- I'm not going to do that one. Uh, maybe Chris <laughs> is even older than he thinks he is because he was kept too many years in the basement. <laughs> Tay and a win, and a win and a tay. <laughs> How bad do you think Chris's dad wishes he could have kept one of his Mexican st- uh, kids instead? Fred just says they did not want him. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what happens when your head is too big for the abortivac. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Neil Young's song, Helpless, was based on this photo. <laughs> Is it just me, or does Chris's dad have a really long left arm? <laughs> wow, it is a long left arm. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's not just you. What's your wingspan like, Stanley? <laughs> not as long as that. No way! Look at those, those T-Rex, arms. <laughs> Cooper, T-Rex arms. Cooper says, I feel like uh, they should be holding up the most current newspaper. <laughs> Jim says, in Soviet Russia, pillow bites you. <laughs> Dr. Amanda, this is the last time when Chris's head was small enough to fit into a sweater. Come on. <laughs> Streep just writes, Hello, darkness, my old friend. Mm. David says, 70s camel toe. Don't talk about my mother's camel toe. <laughs> Kyle says, that's 28.3 more balloons to puke up. Jesus. Oh, my God. Bob says, I thought his dad did smack. All right, people are a lot of people he are did. saying your dad is too fat to do heroin. It's just, you're just seeing heroin from uh, the movies. Yeah, there's people of all different there's, sizes. There's who did fat, heroin. Yeah. fat heroin because addicts. It happens. You do dope. You want to you want sugar. Candy. You want sugar and candy. Yeah. Well, his his thing was flan. He loved he liked to <laughs> flan. Flan. <laughs> He loved flan. And we have any more of those little waters? We brought in seven fucking boxes yesterday, and then they didn't show up at all. all right, I'm gonna switch over with you. You never drink your water because you're Listen, drinking your green juice. I got my green juice. Mm. I got my green juice right here. I'm okay, Vito. I'm okay. Um, in a couple minutes, we're gonna do the giveaway again at eight four four Rock God. Eight four four Rock God. Uh, pillow fighter or bill, pillow biter? What's it mean? Um. The mother and father seem to be too closely related to each other. <laughs> they were just in the same neighborhood. I'm if not... this picture was in black and white, it would be Oaky Dust Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he won't grow up to be a disgusting, unreliable alcoholic that needs to use dating apps. Everyone uses dating apps, okay? A lot of people saying your folks look like uh, brother and sister. I'm not an incest baby. <laughs> Never thought I have to say that. For the love of God. I mean, they are a similar type, I guess. <laughs> they have dark hair. That's all. And dead eyes. What's the big deal? <laughs> Both very dead in the eyes. Yeah. They have You've shit got going your on. father's dead eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> They're in a jar. A lot of people are saying Syrian refugees. Oh, two lights. Well, my dad maybe could pass for a Syrian <laughs> refugee. This says Despicable Dad. How many bricks has Chris's dad used to bash brains in? He was a bricklayer for a short time. Seems like he's had a pepper job for a short time. Yes. <laughs> he was a trucker. He was a cabbie. He was a bricklayer. He was a union enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> he used to steal bottles off of homeless people. Oh, yeah. He had that gig. Show me on the doll where the man punched you. <laughs> Family discount at the lemon tree. All right. Look at the shirt there. This is exactly Ernie. It's an exactly an Ernie shirt. Were you a Sesame Street fan? Uh, as a small child, yes. Yes, that's when any, anyone. If you're not a, as an adult, no, that's not. so weird, Chris. If you're an adult and you're still learning the count. <laughs> Ernie's big mess. Pictures by Joe Matthews. <laughs> People are saying, "Come on, this has got to be 1974 Christmas morning at the Stanley House." Is it too late to hope for Sids? Come on! Oh my God! That's fucking terrible. 
I don't like it. Without a doubt, this is proof of child abuse. A, a child abusing two helpless immigrants. <laughs> They're not immigrants. They're from fucking Queens. All right. Speaking of the Queens, the Queen says this is three different stages of the same fucking haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden says Hicks parents wish they stayed in the Manson cult. <laughs> uh, Larry wants to know why would anyone have saved this picture? I don't know. The look of a family that just got turned down for Jerry Springer. <laughs> All right, I got to do this one properly. Pepper looks like Mr. Flontastic. <laughs> <laughs> Tying in with your. This is the uh, future pic, uh, pic of Chris and his co Costa Rican girlfriend oh, after <laughs> they have a child. Please no. Chris's dad looks like he put his heroin on cheeseburgers. The man shot dope. This one just says, Christopher, oh. get your grubby hands off me. <laughs> That's from Liz. <laughs> really? Sounds exactly like my mother. <laughs> Greg says, we took this couch off the sidewalk. It came with the kid. <laughs> oh, God. I vaguely remember that couch. Man, a lot of people are locked into your mom's camel toe or whether or not she's just wearing nylons. She's wearing pants, and I don't see any camel toe. And if, <laughs> I don't appreciate people talking about my mother's camel toe. Glenn says, is Chris's mom Scott Bayo? <laughs> Come that's, on. That's a compliment. It is a compliment. Right. She, Scott yeah. Bayo is an attractive Republican. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> I mean, she looks like a young Scott Bayo. All right. We'll take that then. Now, are we going to be let down on Friday? Are these. Is it going to be depressing enough tomorrow? I, tomorrow <laughs> will be depressing. <laughs> yes. I can confirm tomorrow's is, is depressing. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say this they do get progressively sadder. <laughs> started so happy yeah well like there was like a hint of sadness because you were in your happy thumbs up goofy guy pose yeah but the face did not match the pose and you were in a full pout for that one so they have gotten sadder and sadder yeah the only thing that we can extract joy from is the fact that you are the same person <laughs> the the uh, lady and the tramp one, very sad, with a very sad young Chris Stanley underneath, just looking like he's having the worst day of his life. And now this, his parents, and just full on depression. Hey, look, Chris is too young to have this mythology around him. You know what I mean? This is Bogart's background. This is Sinatra's background, not Chris Stanley. You should not. These conditions shouldn't even exist when you were there. This was the Reagan years. All right. Fucking trickle down. That wasn't going into that apartment. No shit. The only thing trickling down is when your dad would bring guys home to piss on you and your mom. What? That didn't happen. <laughs> what was the goddamn piss farm in there? Look, it sounds like it was. I mean, from what I'm did, hearing, that's a family business. <laughs> I'm really depressed right now. Yeah, Don't be. It's, it's so sad. Don't be. I was kind of happy in it. It's fine. Yeah, you. You're I, tripping. Yeah, you <laughs> look bizarre, and your parents look so sad to have a child. Here's the thing. Your innocence is going to be so short-lived, and their eyes show it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God. I was always wondering why he's depressed in the other pictures. Look at his folks. There's some bad shit going down. <laughs> Something's really wrong. And here's what you realize, right? Because we've all had bad times before. But there's, you know that life is going to get better. These two. No, there's no way out. You know what I mean? Just fucking dead end temp jobs until this fucking imbecile goes to fucking college and gets busted for selling mushrooms <laughs> to white kids. Awful. But hey, I, had, I had some toys. That seemed nice. That is cool. Yeah, it was a beaten up toy. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a boxer. It was a fun. It was a fun. Uh... Our intern Justin grew up on a fucking reservation. And his life was better than this. <laughs> ba, 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 doo, 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 bum, bum. All right, the Chris Stanley. And we keep going backwards with these pictures. Yes, we're and, going back in time, each time earlier and earlier in Chris Stanley's life. Um, but the this picture is infant Chris Stanley wearing... A giant pamper. <laughs> um, I thought it was seemed too large. Yeah, it was. That's for six year olds. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it depends. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Those are adult depends. 
Now, Chris, by the way, it looks like, and you're a thin kid, but the belly's growing <laughs> yeah. at a pretty good rate. I'm a baby. <laughs> I think that the pamper was that big because you shit <laughs> giant man logs that they couldn't have you in oh, one. Oh, I'm sure they were still liquid at that point. Um, now, there are also people b- believing that there's no way that this is post-1970. Nothing about your fucking life looks like it's the decade you swear to us you're 10 you years missing <laughs> so it's a it's a cute baby and i guess you're on the floor they've put something down on the floor is that the bed it could be a bed but i have why no is there idea. a chair there then yeah oh wow I didn't... there's like a metal chair i think you might be on the floor <laughs> that's great mom. on the uh Smokes. just like a just yeah. like a sheet on the linoleum floor i think and the sad thing is there's a a baba, as they would say it, yes. a baby's <laughs> bottle, and uh, a pack of smokes right next to that. Yes. Which your little, and you can tell that you're going to have shoulder problems, your little arm. Yeah. <laughs> it's how I sleep still. Uh, was just raising up just to get head. the smokes. It, you are really actually. Your... Yeah, I do. It's strange. <laughs> but Those you... kind of things are weird, right? I know. It's like the digging for me. It's like you have the same, you have the same tendencies. The things that comforted you as a baby and a toddler can be something that comforts you as an adult. It's really I, strange. I, I don't, I don't know why things like that happen. But as we said, this one isn't funny at all. It's uh, no, this one really, really made me sad. Why is it sad? Because you look neglected and you look like you're about to. Grab a cigarette. There was obviously someone there. They took the picture. All right, let me just... It's so sad looking. Let me read some of these tweets as they come in. One just says, my God. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And then, ha ha, the baby bottle and the pack of cigs. One week later, he switched to Marlboro Reds. (laughs) Yeah, I like lights. Uh, The original pit stain. That's where it all started. Oh my God, that is the pit, too. (laughs) He is always... (laughs) Lifting the right. One is just a shock face emoji. Uh, then milk drunk. Uh, cigarettes and formula. A Jim Jarmus prequel. <laughs> that, my friend, is very funny. Stream. Uh, five more. My borough, Five more borough miles towards a crib. Uh, the queen and another slice. Another piece of the puzzle falls gently into place. That's fucking hilarious. Who needs a pack a pacifier when you got a pack of cigs? Good point. Even as a baby, Chris was shocked how much he sweats. <laughs> Start the kid off slow and give him Marlboro Lights. Here's Uzi Poo says this. Raise your hand if you're going to be 30 with no parents. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh Dude. my God! That's horrible! What the fuck? That is so horrible! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> How did I not get that one? Oh like, you ever hear somebody make a joke and yeah. then you're like, why didn't I think of that? I could not, I don't think I've ever would have thought of that joke. <laughs> it's terrible. It's I don't have any, oh yeah, th- Thank you for not thinking of it. <laughs> Little Floor Baby Stanley, <laughs> smoke up. Was Chris born on a buffet table? Looks like a chafing dish up there. <laughs> exactly what a newborn requires. A bottle of milk and a pack of reds. Smoking with Chris. Episode one. That's from Tim. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> this is... You should see the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan says, oh, no, Christopher fell off the TV tray. (laughs) (laughs) Dead cat said, who knew it was possible to be born with a beer gut? Okay, I was a baby. (laughs) The weight jokes are really getting to me. Looks... (laughs) Looks All like of a, it should get to you. Looks like a future NASCAR. T- I can't even get them up. These are flying so fast. <laughs> Let me just uh, slow it down a little bit. Future NASCAR fan bottle, Marlboros, and a diaper fit for an adult so his parents could change him just once a week. Me. All right. Liz sets fire. And this is not her usual uh, wit, but the bluntness, I think, works perfectly. Mm-hmm. Okay. It just says... Fucked from jump. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadowing for the forehead. 
<laughs> hundred bucks that's a white Russian in the milk bottle. <laughs> Uh, was this before or after the fire department gave him back? Mean. Paint me like your other French baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love a solid Titanic reference. <laughs> uh, and the gut is still so big. That's from Drew. <laughs> and just his hair, hairless. Uh, looks like he slept in a dresser drawer. <laughs> Did not add Here's it Paul. He's not napping. He's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Picture from the Surgeon General's case against smoking. Oh, come on. <laughs> you not be using Canada. <laughs> you just know that that bottle will always be half full. <laughs> he still wears the same size pampers. <laughs> I, got, I wear underwear like an adult male. I am not a continent. <laughs> Like we say to Trump, you don't have to fucking slam back every time there's a shot against you. It's better if you just let it ride sometimes. I can't let it ride, especially the baby gut comments. That's what I really bothers me. He'll be he'll be fine there for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is John. <clears throat> My intestines are this big. <laughs> uh, another John says is that a hand me down diaper. Hope not. Eyes swollen shut from a little pop in the face, maybe? <laughs> I would bit punch a baby in the face. I'm a little gimp-eyed, yeah. At least I think that's just the timing of the picture. Gimp-eyed? I'm fucking gimp-eyed in this picture. Is that a term? Oh, yeah. Has he ever worn anything in his life that doesn't smell like cigarette smoke? That's an interesting one. Yeah. I don't think so. Um, Pepper Hicks in the baby diaper, doo-doo pampas. It's odd. So, what the fuck? I said Marlboro Reds. Getting the lung cancer going early. I mean. All right. This is great. This is Darren. Right. Hold on for it. He's a Zippo and a pair of wings away from being on the 1984 album cover. <laughs> Van Halen fans only, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Sherrod says he got to know things. <laughs> Got the jokes. People over here doing well. <laughs> um, TC Flag. No wonder he liked the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Only one thing missing is his shell. <laughs> That's fucking not nice. Where's the SIDS when you need it? Stop, oh, stop with the SIDS jokes. World's biggest soft spot. <laughs> <laughs> From an early age, he knew one side of his body would sweat more. It is odd that that is his sweating pit. That is yeah. his pit. And he's, he's getting, always he's showing off. shit out. <laughs> he airs it out. You got it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you have a size 10 hat for my newborn? <laughs> I mean, size 8. Look at that round belly. <laughs> But this says, oh, hell yes. <laughs> um, all parents want their children to be better off than them. Chris is graduating to Marlboro Reds to fulfill that wish. Uh, SIDS before SIDS was cool. Rocking tit milk and nicotine since 1974. 83. There's no fucking way that's 83. <laughs> I'm not There's lying no about way. my age. <laughs> Maybe you just weren't told, Christopher. <laughs> Maybe they didn't put you in school till you were 12. <laughs> See, I don't find this picture funny at all. No. This, this is the sad one. I don't find it to be sad. And we got to meet Chris's special lady last night. Yes, we did get to meet the special lady friend. She's a knockout. She's nice. And she is... And How did you explain her, Gail? I think she's... I think she's beautiful, she's sweet, and she's like a person you want to have a conversation with. She's a real person. Yes, yes, she's a real human person. That you would be like, if you met her, you would be like, I would like to be friends with this person. Right. You know what I think? We meet too many chick comics. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're all so fucking bananas. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, a week old and already testing the whiskey one eye focus. <laughs> Looks like his dar diaper fetish started early. I don't have one of those. <laughs> seems like you do. Because I, I, I was a baby wearing a diaper. It seems pretty uh, normal. 
proof that the Nazi salute is innate. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not a white this, all, this one says same size arms as now. Wait, don't. Come on, man. Do you got a decent you, spread there? Yeah. You got a windspread? Oh, yeah. Mm, Sick. T-Rex it's, arms. Everyone knows it. <laughs> Starring shot for Law & Order SVU episode. It's fucked up. Oh, God. These Dark. fuckers are so damn funny. They're kind of mean, Ron. 